Hello and welcome to another video. And today we're getting straight to the action because it's another League Race video. So uh, apologies for not alerting yesterday. You probably tell that I'm a bit ill, so sorry if I uh, accidentally cough or something, or uh, sniffle or something in this video, or if my voice sounds a bit off. But uh, you know, the show must go on. So uh, this League Race was yesterday. It was moved from Monday to Tuesday, so that's why it's coming out today on Wednesday. Otherwise, I would have tried to get it out yesterday, but I was, uh, you know, I was obviously a bit, feeling a bit ill, and also I was trying to prepare for the race, so that'd be why I didn't unload yesterday. So at the minute, we are in P3, and Bad Spencer, who is a uh, a newcomer for this race, is on pole position, and we were about a tenth, like away from his time for the first sector. So as we go through this right hander now on the throttle, letting off the throttle, back on the throttle, right to the edge of the circuit, hit the brakes. We're now twelve thousandths away from his lap time there. So 40.9, which uh, is actually not too bad of a lap, to be fair. And we hit the brakes for the V corner here. Trying to get on the throttle as soon as we can. There's nobody around us on track, you can see. So no one's going to impede us, luckily. So we're hitting the brakes for the hairpin curve, as this corner's known. Which is a uh, really weird name, in my opinion. We we'll fire it out of the hairpin curve. Down the straight, we're now nearly a tenth under Bad Spencer's time, so the Yamaha, well, I think he's also on the Yamaha, so we just obviously gained quite a bit of time in that section, hit the brakes for the most treacherous breakers zone in the entire circuit, the 90 degree corner, getting out the 90 degree corner up towards this uh, awful one, that curb on the inside is basically Satan, but you can see Bob Rock's now gone faster with a 40.6, so that'll be where the uh, split time differs now as we go over the line, a bit of a wheelie out of victory corner, up towards the line, what is the lap time going to be? 40.8 and uh, RKH crashes there as well but well, I suppose we'll move on to the end of the session and you can see R1 and ended up getting pole so we did go second with that time provisionally but we ended up third look at his lap time he is a whole second quicker than me and we had an abs we had a full lobby pretty much today so uh, obviously we had two newcomers we had Federico Chandini 46 and Bad Spencer and uh, that, that'll be important to note for later but we're on the grid now you can see r and is on pole position, that sensational qualifying lap. And we're waiting for the lights to go on. But as you can see, I've got assisted starts on. And that'll be because I had to have the penalties off on my Donington Park video. So yeah, I had to turn that off. I forgot to turn it back on. So the lights went out, but I got an awful start because I couldn't control my start. So you can see I had a massive wheelie as well. Down towards turn one, you can see there's a decay on my outside and I'm being forced wide by one of the newcomers there. On the outside, second bit of contact. Oh, Piccolini has caught in front of his crash. Bob Rock's high side, and we've been collected by his bike. Uh, yes, yeah, not a good start to the race. Another, another race, another crash at the first on the first lap. Every time it seems like something goes wrong here, but we're hit. in fact, we've gone very hot into the brakes here. We're not going to make the corner. We're going to go into the gravel. So it's a bit flustered at this point. Our high side and down again. So twice in two corners. I was absolutely flustered at this point in the race, and that'll be why I made that mistake. Obviously, after being taken out at the first corner. But at the end of the first lap, we are 2.7 seconds behind R1 and so yeah, we uh, have got quite a bit of work to do. But here we see R1 and lagging, and then a uh, crash. Uh, that will also be important to note for later on. Uh, but now it puts us 3.3 seconds behind Blaking, and it's been a crash ahead for Drian. So we've got had a Drian, but uh, we're obviously not going to have the tight line he had, and he's got back in front now. And then uh, Piccolino has also crashed. Piccolino has also crashed. So now Piccolino has uh, dropped behind us into 10th position and we're up to 9th and we're behind Drian who is in 8th position. And uh, still a lap 2, we're heading down towards a 90 degree corner now in the brakes at the 200 meter boys. A crash ahead for Rob Nuss, uh, he is on the Angel Nieto bike but uh, I'm using a 2019 mod so it uh, makes it look like he's on the Sepang Patronus but uh, he is on the Ducati. And Bad Spencer does the fastest up there, so because we're victory corner trying to close it all, try to close up as much as we can to the back of Drian, up towards the start finish straight, over the line there, we are two tenths behind him, we break into turn one, and we've, oh, oh we've crashed on the curb, we've crashed on the curb, I'd say we've done the fastest lap, but then we crashed on the curb, it was a really weird crash there, it's the rear of the bike just came round on the curb, so it's a massive shame, but we'll further around the lap, there's a yellow flag, at RKH has fallen off there, so that's going to... Allow him to, well actually just right in front of us, I have a contact with him there because he sort of didn't watch when he rejoined the racing line. Probably should have uh, been a bit more careful there but, oh crash for Rob Lewis, and I think there might be a crash for RKH as well, they both ran wide onto the kerb. They can see the proximity arrow still there so RKH was to stay on the bike. We could a bit further on, there's a crash for Blake King up ahead on the Desmond 
and now me and Piccolino have been elevated to 6th and 7th respectively we're coming through this awful corner turn 12 now on the back of Piccolino quite a couple, few laps later we've been stuck behind him for a long time he's made a mistake he's got the curve he's almost fell off very close around the outside we go because obviously we got a better run because of that although he's still pretty close to us we've got to be careful on the brakes here but we've got into 6th position now into turn 1 Drian is a target. It was all oh, hit by Piccolino a little bit there. Piccolino's trying to get back on the inside, but I think he uh, sort of, you know, didn't quite go all the way up the inside because he'd hit us a little bit. So he uh, so it's, uh, appreciated there. Hit the brakes of the 100 meter board. He's trying to get up the inside. Oh, I couldn't quite do it though. He's a clean racing here. He's not going for anything too over the top, which is always good when uh, it's respectful racing lines for you. I should hold it around the outside. A bit more contact, but sometimes there are going to be with diff different lines. And this sort of happens on the brakes now. I think we've got the move done. I think he's gone a bit wide into turn five. Although we've got a little bit wide as well. So a crash of a head for Federico Chanlini. Or whatever his name is. And Drian's now crashed as well. So Drian's crashed on lap 6. And we've taken a position for Drian. So we're in 5th position now. Through Richie Corner. Not too bad for 3 crashes to be 5th position. I'm uh, quite happy with that. I'll definitely take that. And when we go over the line we'll see who's ahead of the gap. We go over the line we have 5.8 seconds by Bob Rock in 4. So we're not going to catch Bob Rock. We're not going to get 5.8 seconds to it. Definitely not. But uh, at the end of lap 9, a couple laps later, well, we are 2.6 seconds behind, so we have taken a big chunk out of him. I think he made a bit of a mistake. So we're on lap 10 now. About to start lap 11. There's a crash for Piccolino behind. So Piccolino had been running with us the entire race, and uh, he finally crashed. Well, he unfortunately crashed. Oh, there's a crash from ahead, though, on the last lap for Vladimir Jäger. Vladimir Jäger, and also I think it's the newcomer, Federico Chandini, 46. They've had contact, and now we're up behind them. Trying to get the inside of Federico Giannini, but we can't quite do it. Down the straight towards turn four, I think this corner is. Hit the brakes. See Federico, oh, turn five, sorry. Federico is, you know, really pushing hard here. He probably wants to get a position, but from Jäger, because uh, they were battling over second position, and they had a crash, and uh, Bob Rock's elevated to second, so I'm sure he's, uh, Chris has come early for him, and potentially for us. Oh, and, uh, Federico nearly went for the move there. There's a crash for Drea further back as well, so it's a shame. For Drian's race there that he crashed. But we're trying to stay as close as we can to Federico Chandini on this last lap. Federico up the inside of Vladimir Jäger, but he can't quite do anything about it. That Despedici though is going to have some power compared to the Honda. Weaving all over the place. Not sh quite sure what he's doing, but he's gone round the outside of Jäger now. He's gone almost into the gravel. So now he's back behind Jäger once again. And we almost touched him there. He went so wide. We're 2.7 tenths behind him. Jäger's going to the inside. The both go defensive. So we're just going to try and play our cards. Another crash for Drian there. Hitting the brakes and the 200 meter board. All round the outside goes Federico, he cuts off Jäger a little bit there. Jäger's not going to be too happy with that move, especially since they had contact earlier on in the lap. He's trying to go the inside, he's run wide through turn 12. So we're trying to go the inside through turn 12. And we're side by side through the chicane, and he's run a bit wide. Out of the last corner, getting the drive. Or towards the line, Bob Ross crash as well. So we're going up to B3, B3 over the line. So we're now P3 right at the end there. So uh, I'm sure that sounded really weird, we shouted uh, with this cold. But... Uh, yeah, those are the results. Sorry about the mouse being on the screen, but Bad Spencer won had a Federico Chandini 46, and I came third. But uh, I can say that I got second because Federico got a penalty. But what I said about Arbolan's lag earlier, this is sort of what happened. Um, I said it would be important. Uh, you can see that's one instance of it, and there's another one where we're all just stationed at the circuit, which is an unplayable lag for him uh, because there was 12 players in the room. It was a little bit too much. Obviously, there was 11 riders and one spectator. So that means the race results did stand. Like There was a debate about maybe redoing the race. But uh, that that was not done in the end. In the end, it was decided not to do a re uh, rerun, as I said. And instead, half points were awarded to everybody uh, because of the lag. Uh, you know, make of that what you will. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything, but uh, yeah... This is the obviously the finalised championship after that race. Uh, sorry, this has been a bit uh, messy this last little bit of the video, but I was trying to just explain the uh, situation as best as I could. So uh, Armadan still leads the championship now, but by a substantially less margin, obviously because of uh, the lag in the race, which is unfair on him. 100% uh, there. I do feel bad for him, but uh, I don't know if that was the correct thing to do. Maybe the half points, but uh, it's not my place. Really, it's not my place. So. That's what was decided, so that's what we'll go with, and uh, you know I'm happy with that. Um, so uh, Jenga's now uh, six points behind. Uh, Drian is uh, eleven points behind Arwanand. 
as well in third position. We goes up from 41 to 32, so it was still a pretty lucrative race for us uh, in the end. So not too bad. And uh, Piccolino is now f well, still fifth, but 60 points behind. So uh, that means with three races to go, five riders are still within contention of the title. It looks like it'll probably be going to end up probably be being between the top three. But uh, don't count me and Piccolino out of it yet. Uh, still mathematically possible that we could win. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that race. Uh, sorry it was probably a little bit of a short one. Uh, not a lot happened uh, other than what happened was crazy. But uh, other than what happened, nothing really happened. That doesn't really make sense. I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not really doing a very good commentary today. Uh, hopefully I don't sound too weird. Uh, I can hear that I sound really weird. So uh, apologies for that. But uh, hopefully I should be uh, alright for the uh, next video. So it should be back to normal commentary. Uh uh, if you do, if you ha if you're not uh, already subscribed, uh, please uh, subscribe. We're, we're nearly, we're like 912, I think, subscribers now. So uh, thanks, thanks a lot as well. I, I don't think I've said thank you for 900 subscribers yet. So uh, I, I will, uh, I'll do that now. Uh, so th thanks, thanks for that, guys. Uh, means a lot to me. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can make the uh, push for 1,000. So if, you know, if you're not already subscribed, you know what are you doing? Drop drop a subscribe, hopefully we can get to 1000 uh, pretty soon but uh, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I shall see you in the next one